I'm Jen Peng He from Tetrate. I work uh, in Isto for the last three years. And uh, you may know my GitHub ID as Zering. And, uh... Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Zhu Hu Xu from Huawei Cloud. I've been working in Isto for the last six years. Yeah. And uh, I'm very happy to be here for the first time to speak in person in Kubukan and it's today. Yeah, thank you very much to be here for the last topic. And today, we, our topic is how to do uh, root search root, root, rotation with no downtime and no problem. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Uh, first, uh, look at our agenda today. Uh, first, we'll talk about uh, some uh, back backgrounds to uh, let you catch up with our uh, rotation workflows later. And then we will talk about how we rotate uh, root certificate uh, in previous old uh, EC2 revisions. And then we will talk about our uh, inventive root certificate uh, rotation uh, solution. And then we will have a demo at last. Okay, let's first uh, introduce the basic auth authentication model in Istio. Uh, I think uh, most of you are familiar with these uh, uh, pictures. The first uh, uh, part is that uh, in our ingress gateway, we will terminate TRS on the edge with, with user specifi uh, specified certificate. And the second is the workload to workload uh, communication with MTRS. Yeah. The third part is that the egress gateway will help us originate TRS on the edge with user specified certificate. And uh, we can uh, deploy, make use of them on demand. Okay, let's take a look at how we can uh, set up the certificate on the edge. Uh, this is uh, on the right side, this is an example how we can set up uh, gateway credentials. First, uh, we have to generate a certificate and a curl and store them in a Kubernetes secret. Then we should uh, configure the ingress gateway using the gateway, uh, Istio gateway API. Yeah. On the left side is how uh, is to uh, manage the certificate. Yeah. Uh, for more details, we can take a look at uh, uh, istio, uh, dot io. There, there is a task demonstrating this example. Okay. Uh, then we talk about how workload communicate with workloads uh, in the mesh. So take a sleep, uh, take this example, sleep need to communicate with HTTP. Uh, both of them are injected with sidecars. Uh, this is very, very familiar to most of us. Yeah. The most important part is that it's 2 d we are uh, still a certificate for both sleep and HTTP, and sleep we will use the uh, certificate here to communicate with the HTTP service. So the certificate is passed here, and we can see here this is the uh, uh, validate du duration. And then the most important part is the identity part. Uh, here we can see that the identity is a uh, type of spiffy with this uh, domain and the namespace and uh, the surface, surface count. Okay, right side is uh, origin, the raw certificate, certificate certification. Uh, the top part is a uh, uh, workload certificate and the, the lower part is uh, a root cert. Okay. Uh, there are two ways of signing workload certificate in Istio. 
The first mode is that uh, SUD will work as a CA author authority. It will uh, help workloads send their uh, certificate with their own identity. Uh, for the example, uh, at the last slide, uh, Sleep and HTTP both have uh, different identities, so we send different certificate to them. And the second mode is that uh, Istio D or Istio can integrate with Spire. Uh, so in production, we actually recommend, recommend the more secure and the easy way to uh, sign in workload certificate. But uh, we have to uh, make sure that we are familiar with both uh, Spire and, and the integration solution. OK, the next part, I will talk about how E2D can self-sign the workload certificate, because most uh, users, for, uh, for simplicity, they can just use uh, E2D to sign their workload certificate. And here, our topic focus on the uh, E2D self-signed workload certificate. Uh, the first one is that E2D can Act as a and, and uh, S2D can act as a uh, C, CA, so it uh, don't need any uh, other configurations when it starts up. It can automatically self send the CLA, uh, self sign the certificate to uh, uh, workload, and then the second. The second part is the uh, RA mode. It will use uh, Kubernetes to send uh, certificate. You can see that it uh, integrates with Kubernetes and use uh, cert manager, customer CA, or anything, whatever. You can uh, use th that to sign the workload uh, certificate. And uh, here, we focus on the second mode. Uh, it is also uh, same mode, but we plug in a C signing certificate to s 2 d So this is uh, the simple way we can uh, commonly used to manually manage the expiration and uh, uh, revocation of it. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what is plug-in C certificate. Yeah, in sh production workflow, we should prepare uh, an intermediate C certificate with a safe C. Uh, so the root C must be on an offline machine to be secure. And then we need to create a secret named C source and mount it to SUD and the S2D will uh, detect and watch the search and uh, uh, initialize S2D C server. And then at last, the S2D will start up C server and ready to uh, sign a workload search. Uh, this is a basic workflow. Okay. And uh, we focus on how we can rotate root C here. So, before 1.20, the basic workflow to uh, do root search rotate is uh, signing a new intermediate C search and then update the C search secret. And then it's to de reload it for C server and XDS server. And then we need to restart all the workloads in the mesh to pick up the new search. Uh, to mitigate, uh, we can contact, concat multi root search in C search, uh, but this uh, rely on the multi root search, multi root uh, root feature support. Uh, this feature is, uh, I think this feature is uh, very long. 
uh, from about uh, one point six. Yeah. Okay, but this uh, there are some shortcomings here. Uh, all manually operations, and uh, this is error prime. So during the rotation, the east-west traffic is very likely to be broken, and uh, when XDS clients reconnect the field, there is a gap between its duty uh, reloading the new search for XDS server and the XDS proxy loading the new C search. So this this is a gap, and uh, the last question is how long could it take? Uh, the whole procedure could be hours, depend on the size of workloads in the mesh, uh, because we uh, have a workload search validation for about 24 hours. And uh, basically, we, rota uh, we rotate the workload search uh, uh, every about 12 hours. Okay, uh, let's turn it to Jianpeng uh, to show us how we can rotate the root C in details. Uh, before 120, I think uh, 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 there was uh, two common ceremony about uh, how we wrote the C set. C is the, the simplest way. You uh, both uh, uh, intermediate A and uh, intermediate B come from the same route, so it, you can wrote it ch or change the C set at any time. And because they are from the root C, so even uh, at the, in this screen, you can, you can see the service C and the service B have different uh, uh, workload set from different uh, intermediate uh, routes, but the, the, the communication is not broken. But uh, sometimes you, can, you may make a mistake and use a wrong, a wrong root C and, and the, the ops team requests you to change it from like this. You are, you are running uh, a cluster with, uh, uh, with intermediate B from root A, and the ops team requests you to change it to from intermediate C, but it was from another root, uh, root C, or we call it uh, root B here. And uh, I think Christine, uh, Christine Poster from the Solo and Peter uh, uh, do a a very good uh, demo in the past and show how we can uh, rotate it. But the short is, uh, the truth is we need to roll out east d for maybe about twice or, and, or more, and then you need to restart all the inject application for uh, maybe twice and more. So if you have a large scale size cluster, it will be very difficult to run it in a short time. So, how can we improve this? Let's, uh, let's, let, let's take a look at our new, very, detail, uh, very little invocation. So, here's the key thing for to, uh, to uh, reload at root CA uh, without any time. First, we, this new feature is guarded by two feature gates. It's what, one is the proxy config, uh, proxy config XDS agent, and uh, the another one is Eastern Mute uh, Root Mesh. With, with this enable, uh, Eastern is allowed to send a PCDS to the Eastern agent when the, uh, the root CA is changed. And for security reason, uh, for the safety reason, we just uh, Allow to SDOD auto reload the root CA in two cases. First one, the root, uh, the root CA is just, uh, the new root CA is, uh, the new root CA contains the old ones. It's just like uh, A plus B. And the, another one is the root CA, is, the, new root, the new one is just a part of the new one. It's just like uh, you change from A to B. A plus B to just only B, and yeah, and with all the, uh, with this uh, the, this new change, we can allow SOD re reload the root CA with any reout and uh, and restart. You and uh, 
all the uh, workload set will be uh, auto resigned. You didn't. You also didn't need to roll out the uh, applications. So here's the thing: we start from here. You have a cluster and. Uh, uh, run, run, you, uh, you have a install, install with the root A. I, I'm, I, here I, I call root A just the, as the same as the intermediate A. And uh, we need to change it, uh, ro ro uh, uh, we need to route it to root B. And uh, uh, on the left side, you can see uh, there's uh, another two, thing, uh, two things the combined root. Is what just the the root set A plus root set B, and uh, there is another one called combine root two, and it was just uh, root A and plus B and uh, and one more. So this is the this is the first ceremony. Uh, you can this uh, we are getting started from here. The next step we are. We we'll update the C set with uh, everything from the last, but just replace the root set from root A to the combine, uh, combined root, combined root. And after about uh, 30 minutes later, uh, SOD will reload all reload the new C A and uh, all the Workload will resign the workload sets, and because of the old metrics, the new the new workload set is valid for both uh, from A and B, and uh, yeah. Uh, so we need to. So maybe you can uh, you can imagine you want to just uh, uh, the next step is just. Uh, Change everything from root B and with the combined root, but it will be a little. There will be a a, a little tra a traffic downtime if you just do it. So we have a hat trick. Is the the next step? We update the. Uh, we update the com. Uh, we update the set set with the root B, but just replace the. Root set with the uh, with the combined root two, and uh, all the root set and the workload set will be reloaded in about just uh, one minute. And uh, the last step is just change everything to the root B. Yeah, and uh, maybe one minute or two minutes later, everything is okay with the new root B, new root. Yeah, hey, the, uh, you can go through the demo on my, I, I wrote a, a, a handbook about this, and also you can check out uh, our E2E test at the Easter repo. Uh, I, don't waste, I don't want to waste your time to go through the handbook uh, here, and uh, you can check out the doc, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can select me or just send an email to me, okay. And uh, here's the reference. And uh, uh, the first one is the issue about the uh, the, the old thing. And uh, the second one is the the great book wrote by Christine Posta in long long ago. Yeah, you can see it was just uh, Easter one one six. And uh, the re uh, the rest two is uh, all prerequisite. You can check uh, you can check out the detail. And maybe you can find uh, some mistake made made by us. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, 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 and uh, good afternoon. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Especially as a first time speaker, and English is not your native language, so thank you. Um, do we have any questions? Uh, all right. Hello, and. Uh, Thank you for this feature because I did a lot of uh, ISTU certificate rotation in my life, unfortunately, and uh, it's a pain. Um, 
I have a question about the part where you have to combine the certificate. Uh, when you are doing it manually, so uh, you have to do it in two steps. Uh, first, you have to combine your certificate A plus B into your cluster, do the rotation, and after that, replace the CR cert by just B. So like this, you only have the root CA B into your cluster. It is the same thing here. You need to do two steps, so you have uh, two manual steps. First one combines the old root CA and the new one, and after that, remove the old one. Is that right? So, sorry, can you repeat your question? <laughs> okay, so, um, in this new feature, so first you have a root CA A installed into your system, and I want to rotate this root CA. So, I have to combine my root CA, so my old one and my new one, and after that, I have to remove the old one, or I just need to push the new one, and the system will undo it for me. I just need to find the new one. Are you asking if you should uh, remove the old C? Yes. Yeah, definitely. We don't want uh, the old C to exist at last, because we uh, maybe it has been leaked or. Uh, maybe it will uh, expire. Okay, so is, is it planned to have a feature where you just push the new root CA and it under the deletion of the old one for you? Sorry, I can't catch up with your question. So in, the, in this case, I have to remove my old root CA, right? So is it planned to have a feature to remove it uh, itself into the system so I don't have to do a manual operation to remove it? Sure. So you'll get to automate removing the old root. So today there's one on the uh, Get the question? I think he's asking um, as a user if he needs to manually remove uh, the, the previous root CA. Do we have a feature in planning to help? Uh, sorry, I, we, we don't have a plan now because the, uh, we, we, we think the plugin root set should be in charge of users, not the Yeah, I think that makes sense. You are in charge as a user, so I like it. All right, <laughs> thank any you. Other? Uh, do we have any other questions? All right, if not, I would like to thank the speakers again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.